What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today I've got something pretty exciting to show you guys. I did a video a while back on some Super Nintendo controllers that were USB that you can use for emulators. Well, what we've got today is a similar product, but way better. It's called the 8-Bit Do Super Nintendo 30 Pro Bluetooth Gamepad. This has a rumble vibration feature, motion controls. These have a built-in gyroscope and a triaxial, triaxial, triaxial accelerometer. Now they are USB-C, but they're also Bluetooth. Now, what's really awesome about these, they're compatible with the Nintendo Switch, Windows, Android, Mac OS, and Steam. You're gonna be able to have a lot of fun with these. Now, I can tell you right off the bat, just feeling them, they feel like they've got some weight to them, so they definitely feel solid. They've got a 16-hour battery life, so you're gonna be playing for a minute. So we get two different variations. One is the uh, the kind of, like, I don't know, it's not gray, it's like a purplish and a light purple. And then you've got the, uh, the multicolored one. They have the same features as far as I'm aware. The SF30 Pro is about 44 bucks and the SN30 Pro is about 48 bucks. But anyway, I'm too excited. I'm just gonna open it up. So which one? Ooh, which one, which, which one? I'm opening this one up first. Oh man, that looks classic as all get out. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, and it's got the little cable with it. Ooh, man, look at that. These look so awesome. Oh. That is so cool. First off, we've got two of these cables, about four and a half foot USB to micro, well, oh, this looks like, this is USB-C. Are these USB-C? It is a USB-C, ha, I didn't even notice. Cool, so USB to USB-C, so you know these are very modern and up to date. Very cool, definitely digging that. Real heavy duty cable though, nice thick flat style cable. Look at that, that is so awesome looking. Right off the bat, you can tell it's sporting the very classic button layout is exactly the same with some additions. You've got these analog sticks and they feel, wow, these feel so solid. Very snappy. I like that. That's really cool. You got your start, select, or minus and plus buttons. Oh, I've already, apparently I turned it on. Um, so the Bluetooth lights, those are going off. I guess it's looking for a signal. I'm not sure what this is. I'm gonna, let's see, those are, okay, so it just says star button and home. That's what they're calling it. I don't know what that means though. Um, okay, cool. Now at the top, now this is where it gets even, even more interesting. Not only does it have analog sticks, but it also has shoulder buttons. So you got your L, L1, L2, R1, and R2 in, oh yeah. Those are nice and snappy. I gotta say, it feels, really well made. It feels like a solid controller. Very cool. And then your classic D-pad. It doesn't feel loose and wobbly or anything. Oh my goodness, these are so cool. So same thing with this one, except it's got the different color buttons here. You can tell the shade is a little bit different than this one, but ultimately the layout is the same. They actually feel, honestly, I can tell by the feel of the buttons and the feel of the actual construction itself. This one feels a little bit cheaper than that one. Still really good. Analog sticks are nice and functional. They got a nice snap to them. Definitely like that. Now it's compatible with Mac, Windows, um, Android, and even Nintendo Switch. You can use this on your Nintendo Switch. I personally don't have a Nintendo Switch, but I've got my Android phone and I put Combat, some, I put a game on there so we can try that, but I also have tons of emulators. First, I'm gonna update the firmware. Apparently I have to, I don't need you, goodbye. Firmware upgraded, done. All right, it was actually pretty simple. Very basic process. Shows you where to get the firmware and then and then the firmware itself, it actually shows you how to do it. It's really super simple. So I'm going to unplug it, connect it through Bluetooth. There it is. Pair, boom, it is connected, awesome. Oh man, this is classic. Oh my God, it's working. Ryu, let's go. Oh yeah. All right, that's really cool. Okay, so that works really well. So the next test I wanna try is my Android. Oh, and it vibrated, I felt it, that was cool. <laughs> never felt the SNES controller vibrate. All right, let's try Modern Combat 5. I've never played this game before, but I downloaded it just for this. Oh, got him. Go, 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 go. Oh, I shot him in the foot. That was awesome. Let's go, bring it. Ah! Oh. Chopper! 
Watch your language. He's got a bulletproof cockpit. That's not fair. Oh, you're going down, buddy. Yo, you're going down. Why is this not taking you out? He's like, we need backup now. Go down already. Got him. Woo! Can't touch me. That was pretty cool. This is awesome. Okay, uh, so that just shows you, okay, it works really well with the Android. The analog sticks work really good, especially if you can control the sensitivity in whatever game or app you're using. Uh, man, I gotta say, I really like this. What would really go well with this, not only will your emulators and your Switch work, but if you are a fan of Android games and you have like an Android TV box, this is all you need. This is it. This is this is the controller that you need. I mean, there are other ways of doing it, but if you're a big fan of the uh, the retro style, and uh, hey, maybe you know you're not really digging the Switch controllers. This could be a cool way to go. I'm really liking it. The build quality is fantastic. The response time is premium. Very, very, very good. I love the added bumper to it. You know, the old style, it did have a single bumper, but that added new age bumper. One thing that I would like to, to actually have seen is maybe have that bumper extend out a little bit because for larger hands, this could get a little difficult. But if you are a big fan of the retro controllers, this is definitely an awesome way to go. I absolutely 100% approve these. Take your game to the next level, no doubt. Absolutely love these. All right, guys, that is it. I'm gonna leave links down in the description below. As usual, you guys know what to do. Go check it out for yourself. But as for now, get out of here.